So I was very like small at that time. And I asked myself, how do I grow a wider back? And now I have achieved that goal and I want to share my experience on the way there with you. Now, there are many falsehoods in this realm of growing a wider back. And I want to deal with some of them. Many, many people say, when you want to grow a big back, you need to train the lats and the shoulders, right? You need to train the lateral shoulders, just spam lateral raises and you will get wider shoulders. Lateral raises, first of all, never worked for me. I have done dozens of them. I used to do 62 sets of lateral raises. I'm not, I'm not lying to you here, by the way. 62 sets, 62, 62, right? And my back didn't grow, even though my shoulders grew from it, right? My shoulders obviously exploded because of the sheer volume and because they didn't have a choice but to grow. But my back stayed the same and even got smaller. And I asked myself, well, what, what, what should I do with this? How can I grow a big back? And it wasn't until I started playing American football and I started doing the exercise I'm about to tell you what it is then my back grew thick. The exercise that I'm talking about is shrugs. Shrugs and wide rowing. You see your back, you can imagine it like a cross, okay? And you have to imagine it, it works like this, right? It's a cross. And right now, your back is like this, right? Your arms are somewhere here and this is is this right here so here are your shoulders and the point is with shrugs the muscles that are right here those muscles right here the upper traps they get stronger and then they pull these things up and then your back looks like this i haven't changed the length of this of this line here much but it is wider, right? It went from this wide to this wide. And you see it's significantly wider just because they are stable. And this works in two ways. First of all, in the immediate way. The immediate way is that the traps pull up your shoulders and therefore you have a wider appearance because from this, it goes to this, right? And so it's naturally wider. The second reason why your back gets wider when you train your traps is that to for, for a bone to grow, you need muscle to support it. We've all heard this, oh, you shouldn't train when you're, when you're young because if you get muscles or if you do resistance training, then, you're, then your bones get shortened. Mm. Actually, your bones get longer. That's what she said. <laughs> because they then have more muscle to support their growth. The body itself, wants to grow wide and big and strong because then it's more intimidating. Think from the tribal sort of sort of thought perspective. A bigger animal looks more dangerous. You will be less likely to attack um, a lion that's big and looks strong and dangerous than a, than a baby lion, right? Just because it's bigger. So just this knowledge of, okay, the body wants to be big by itself and we just need to support its growth. Just this makes you realize a whole bunch of stuff about growth that you didn't know before. The thing you can do in every single growth metric you want to grow, right? In height, in width, whatever. You simply train the muscles to support the bones that make you grow. So when you want to grow taller, you can train your lat, you can train your legs and your lower back, and of course, also your neck, right? Those things will make you grow taller, but the traps will make you grow wider because then these muscles, these, these bones right here, they're supported. The muscles your arms are fixed, not the muscles, I'm sorry, the bones your arms are fixed on, they are then supported and therefore then they can grow. 
Do you realize how powerful this is? I just gave you the way out of, oh, I'm five foot four, then I can't get girls. Mm. You can grow your body, not by stretching it, not by hanging 30 minutes a day. That doesn't work. I've tried it all. It doesn't fucking work. Oh, I, I gained four inches of height when I, when I hanged from a pull-up bar. Mm. That's decompression. If you weigh, if you, if you measure yourself instantly after hanging, yes, then you will be taller. But I don't know about you, but when I walk up to girls, I usually don't have a fucking pull-up bar with me <laughs> where I can, where I can lengthen my, my spine again and where I can decompress everything. <clears throat> so the way to grow um, substantially and the way to, to keep that size is to pack on muscle mass that then supports the growth of the bone. I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you learned something. And the main exercise I would recommend for growing your traps, like I said, is shrugs. It doesn't matter if you do them with dumbbells or with a barbell. It doesn't really matter. It just is important that you do train your traps, these muscles right here. What's also a good exercise for your traps is um, holding a clean I know, I don't know if you know the exercise cleans, but a clean or a snatch for that matter is the exercise that I'm showing on the screen right now. I maybe have a video of me doing it or some fat guy doing it. And when you just hold that exercise on like the bottom, trust me, your whole back, the whole stabilizer, stabilatory muscles in your back are going to grow because your, your, your back is all that stabilizes it. Your shoulders and all those muscles that make you look really masculine grow if you just hold the snatch. And you don't need to use hundreds of kilos for this. I personally use just the bar. <laughs> I use just the bar and I'm a strong guy. I bench press 100 kilos, so 225 for 11 reps. I bench press that same weight on a 45 degree bench and, I, and I'm genuinely very strong, okay? But on that exercise, I can barely use the bar. Today, I did a PR with that and I added 7.5 kilograms to each side of the bar. And that's a PR for me on snatches. <laughs> so you won't be using much weight. Use the lightest bar you can and try to nail the, the whole um, movement first before you can add weight. And then just hold that on the bottom. And I promise your traps will grow, your shoulders will grow, and just your whole appearance, those micro muscles that make you look really masculine, that have pushed the big muscles out a little bit more. Those muscles that are like on the second level below your big muscles who just stabilize the joints, those muscles will also grow. And then your big muscles, your main muscles, your sort of soul, show muscles are then going to look bigger, which is what we ultimately want. Now have a nice day. Master your mind and may God protect you on your path.